everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. We are back again here in our western town of Spider Canyon. Having a good time. I'm hanging out here in my wagon. I just took a little quick little siesta, a little nap and a nap uh, to make sure all the bad guys go away. And I think uh, they're gone. I think so. Let's go check. Yeah, everything is safe over here in Spider Canyon. Also, I made a project board. Check this out. So I wanted a separate board from the one we have in our island location this is specific to spider canyon let me know what do you guys think of this so right now we got a sheriff station that we got to do for our deputy chorizo he's still hanging out in the bar he needs to get out of there the saloon wants him out okay so we're gonna take care of that very soon also a general store i want to do a church i want to do a town hall with a clock tower on it i also want to do a uh, town mayor hacienda which is gonna be awesome and also a cattle ranch but let me know i need three more spots here what else should we add to our western town let me know in the comment section and also uh, i like this project board it looks very cool also in the last episode we built this Oh, I love it. I love it. That is our wool farm. It is producing all the wool we're ever going to need in this world. We're never going to need any more than that. And also, I love this build. I truly do love this build. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I had so much fun making it. It is oh, so cool. Also, I added this cool little well right here in front of this spot, which is perfect, right? We needed a well in this area. I don't know what to add here yet, though. I want to add a couple extra bits and details right here. I just don't want to take away from this. So uh, whatever we do here, uh, it's going to be small maybe a little park might be cool or maybe a couple um a food truck uh, not trucks like food stalls maybe i don't know there's no trucks in the wild west in this uh, in this era also i took inspiration for this well from my friend on instagram sir lime he made one that's kind of similar but i made it my own a little bit uh and it's definitely inspired go check him out though. i'm gonna put a link in the description also let's check on our friend over here what's up deputy how you doing trust me the jail the prison the whole sheriff station is coming i promise in the next episode uh, i see you have a new bar tender here uh so yeah i bet you're doing a great oh you're gonna play a tune for us go ahead play as a tune friend i love when his eyes go like that <laughs> it's so cool why don't your eyes go like that maybe one day <laughs> don't you spit on me i felt the spit coming but in today's episode we're heading out from here we're gonna come back very very soon because i got inspiration in order to do one specific build back in the island of ours and i just need to do it we've been postponing it for the longest time i want to do something for my bee friends over there and i got a spot picked out just for them also uh uh the more you know uh i i, I made a pink sheep last episode i totally didn't even notice that you can actually mix a red and a pit uh -oh, um rip squid behind me i didn't know that you can mix d different colors of of sheep okay and make other colors so uh we did that we had a white sheep and a red sheep and they made a pink sheep that was fantastic i tried to see if i can make a brown sheep because that's basically what we needed today but you know what apparently that's not a thing so we're heading back to the island in a second but before we even head over to that island we're gonna do a little bit of an adventure a little exploratory uh, tour around this beautiful land in search for something that we need very, very badly to finish this wool farm. Because we have every color in the book. Every single one is all up in this area. But the most important one, no, well, not really important, the only one we have left. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but right here, we need a brown sheep. In order to get a brown sheep, we need brown. In order to get brown, we need some brown dye. In order to get brown dye, I need to go to a jungle and find myself some cocoa beans. Because guess what? I also could find some dye, preferably inside uh, the inventory of a wandering trader. But you know what? I don't let them live long enough to get that done. <laughs> and a big old shout out to my friend June. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I sent out a retweet. Uh, can I get up here? I sent out a retweet from June, June Tree, making the best little comic book art that you've ever seen. It's basically me shooting a wandering trader, not checking if they had brown dye. You know what? Thank you so much for that beautiful art. And I realized the error of my ways, but that's not going to stop me they're going down every time i see him so instead of waiting around here for another wandering trader to come and meet their doom i'm gonna go look for a jungle and preferably also i'm gonna need to find myself some dark oak so roof forest is definitely on my list of two find uh and uh i'll save these guys hey actually you know what let's make a baby do, do you make different colors if i mix you up i doubt it uh, i don't think i've test this out yet what color you make Another yellow one. I need brown. Just put that there for now. But let's head on out. Let's see if we can find ourselves a roof forest and a jungle. Wish me luck. Dolphin friends, you want to come with me? Do you guys know where there's a jungle around here? These are cocoa beans. 
Uh, oh, come on, let's go. They're gonna show me. <laughs> also, wouldn't mind some cookies too. We can make a little bakery somewhere in the western town. Um, where do I go? This way? Let's go. Here, get a little light to light the way. Take that. Now, before we start heading off into the wilderness, I want to just come back over here and give you guys a little preview, a little spot check to show you where exactly we're going to be building this lovely brand new build for our lovely bees that they deserve it because they've been cooped up inside a little tiny uh, beehive for the longest time. Bee nest, not beehive, bee, bee, bee nest. Right here. <laughs> this is a nice little spot. What do you guys think of this? Right up here, I got it all lined up. It's going to be tiny. It's not going to be that big, but just enough space here for this to happen. Also, we still have plenty of room up here to do our fortress. And hold on. Jalapeno. What's up, my friend? You know what? I'm going to take you to the western town very, very soon. Next trip, you're coming with me, okay? Promise. But this is a really cool spot. What do you guys think? We're gonna have the same base as we have well for this little area Actually, she's gonna be like a reverse. You see how this base is like a stone base uh, And then we have the terracotta on the top. This was gonna be a uh, well terracotta brick and granite uh, This is a terracotta brick and granite uh, combo on the bottom. Well, no terracotta just granite and brick But at the bottom and then we're gonna do the little stair trick we did down there as well But the top is gonna be like a wood themed and it's gonna be really cool It's gonna be a little greenhouse for our bees, but I can't wait to get that started But you know what? It's not time yet. We need to do some adventuring first. Uh, let's get our bearings. Uh, what's up, Bobbles? Come on, girl. Come with me. Help me decide which way to go for this uh, adventure. I'm not sure. So we're not going to go Western Town. Um, that's that way. So we know that way there is absolutely zero chance uh, of finding any uh, jungles or any roof forest. Well, maybe if we keep going, but uh, that's fine. Bobbles, wait right here, girl. It's almost nighttime. So I'm thinking maybe we go this way. The Tiger Plains area, they might be some luck for that one. The Coral Reef Savannah, that goes pretty deep down the other way, and I don't think nothing is there. Uh, or maybe this way. You know what? I'm going to go towards this area, towards the Tiger Plains area, that direction, and hopefully we find something. But before we do anything, Bubbles, I'm going to sleep. Uh, uh, hey, Bub. All right, let's go onward to adventure. Um, which way was it going? I have been out at sea forever. And there's no uh, big land masses anywhere. We got a bunch of these little tiny little islands around here, which is pretty cool in itself to make like a bunch of little chains of islands. But my God, there is some turtles right there. I haven't seen turtles in forever. I can make a little turtle sanctuary. Oh, uh, man. Uh, maybe later. Would you guys like to see a turtle sanctuary here in the hardcore uh, season two series? I've done one in almost every single series I've ever done. Let me know if I should make another one. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe a pirate theme one. I don't know. Pirate turtles. <laughs> Those would be pretty cool. That island looks like a shark fin or something like this is some crazy beast on the water and that's like the fin of uh, and they're like sleeping or something look at that that's a little bit of the tail or something that's scary it's like a Loch Ness monster or something i'm running or boating oh no birch forks oh the horror <laughs> thank god i got the pretty leaves man for my boy germ because if not that thing will be just horrendous at least we got a little bit of color in those birches Ugh. where's my flint and steel when i need it hey dolphin they're back Chew! i know this is a lot of perch. I'm so sorry. Uh, follow me this way. Let's get out of there. Oh, no. I dropped my sword by accident. No. Be careful. It's sharp. It's sharp. It's sharp. Be careful. Be careful. I took a screenshot and everything. I got so scared when my sword fell. Okay. Come on. We're fine. Thank you for the dolphin's grace. Oh, a, a swamp. Let's take a quick little peek over here. Actually, I wouldn't mind some of those blue orchids since we're here already. And we could check and see if there's a witch's hut. That'll be kind of cool. We could do a witch farm one day. I have never done one of those. Uh, I heard it's a lot of work, though. But we'll see. You know what? Well, maybe one day. Man, I should have brought some bone meal. I could have just bone meal the ground and get some of them. But you know what? We'll oh, there, there's some right there. Lily pads. Come to your boy. I love me some lily pads. Come on, bang, bang. Man, remember back in the day we used to crash into a lily pad? Your boat exploded? Oh, good times. Be careful, uh, dolphin. Be careful. Please, 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 please. Be careful. This is a, a really a quick way to drown yourself. Well, not to drown yourself. To reverse drown yourself. Whatever. Is that a thing? I don't know. Reverse drowning. Any more orchids? Just a couple, please. No, is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. I guess I'll get these lily pads. Wee! Let's go. Dolph is gone. They don't want to get reverse drowned. <laughs> what is that even? I don't even know. Don't ask me. Oh, that's it! Oh, the luck! Yes! Oh, that is cool. Look at that. We are so lucky right now. We've been out maybe for like, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. Uh, straight water, but uh, there it is. That is super cool. Finally! Dark oak. Let me just grab a couple stacks, if you guys don't mind. Maybe take, uh, I don't know, uh, 
eight saplings will be critical, I think. Maybe a little bit more. I heard these are a little bit tough to get the sapling drop. Uh, unless we use fortune or something. But uh, let's do a little bit of chopping. But, oh, man, I didn't bring any torches. Uh, this might be a little dangerous. I'm just going to stay on the outside edge to do this. What is this weird terrain generation? Um, just grab these then. Let's make this place a little bit prettier. This is not supposed to be floating. Has somebody invaded or hacked my single player world and uh, made some weird floaty trees? If that's the case, I'm a little spooked right now. Okay, because that's just weird. Either weird terrain generation or somebody hacked me. Who do you think hacked my world? Let me know. Put hashtag you've been hacked by and give me a name and we'll find out. Oh, it's almost sleep time, but guess what time it is as well? It is sunset watching time. Let's go. Who is happening? That's just romantic. So I think this might be our last tree. We're pretty good as far as saplings. We got 12, we got a bunch of logs. So I think from here, we need to go look for that jungle. Hopefully it's close by. I don't know, let's just give it a shot. Wait, let me take this little piece out. We don't wanna do whatever person that hacked us did. Oh look, it's uh, it's, it's Grassy's friend. Uh, that's dirty. <laughs> You're dirty, get out of here you dirty end of it. But listen, I think we got enough, check this out. So we got one, two, three, four stacks and almost, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get five more logs just to round that off. Also 25 saplings, it is plenty. There's definitely some good luck in this area. So you know what? I think that's perfect. Is that? Yes, okay. We got five stacks, we got a bunch of saplings. Now let's get on out of here before a Dirty uh, does something dirty to us and smacks us in the face with their really long legs. Uh, and um, you know what? <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a jungle. We've had some good luck so far. I'm gonna keep going down this direction. Hopefully we get some Something. Come with me on this journey. Oh, look at this place. This is cool. Wait, is this an island? Hi, turtle. I just ran him over. Is this a roofed forest island? Oh, that is pretty cool. I've never seen a roof forest island before. That is awesome. Yep, this is a roof forest island. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I love it. I might come back here and build something. Maybe a little outpost. What do you guys think? If we do come back here and build something, what should we build? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, a hole. Is there any exposed iron here that I can make some shears really quick and preferably also get some torches? Oh, some iron right there. Hold on, let's see, is there any coal here? I would like a torch or two. I know it's a little dark for you guys. You guys can't probably see anything. Oh, iron right here. Hold on. Oh God, that's a trap. I'm just gonna use an expensive torch right there. This is a death trap right here. Let's make some shears really fast. Oh, it's a silk touch. Um, I can make a furnace. Um, uh, do we have to do some bootlegging stuff real quick? I guess we do, hold on. I guess we can use this birch really quick. My inventory's filled up. Wow. Um, by stone. There you go, birch. There you go, birch. Thank you, birch. Eh, I can't touch it. I don't want to touch it. Can't believe I'm doing this, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Don't judge me. Ugh, this heel's dirty. Almost as dirty as touching that birch. Fine. Now go away. Oh, look at this mess. Let the villagers clean that up. There we go. Uh, iron, go in there. And, oh, man. Um, birch? <laughs> Be of use. You too, Birch. Get in there. Guess we could pick these back up. See, Birch is useful sometimes. I just need a couple for some shears, really. But it's almost nighttime again. Let's take a little sleep. Let me get rid of these Birch leaves so it won't have any nightmares at night. Perfect. No nightmare fuel. All right, shears are acquired. When we get back to that swamp, we can go ahead and get some of those lovely old vines. But for right now, this is fine. I, you know what? I don't need any of these stuff. I got so much junk in here. I don't even really need. I need that. I need that. I, one emerald. Do I really want to save inventory space for one emerald? Um, I guess. I'll get rid of those sticks, though. Bye, sticks. Done. You know what? I'm going to leave this here as a memory of our path through life. I'm going to just leave that mess. Oh, God, it's horrible. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's keep on searching. Um, excuse me? <laughs> what? That's it. J jungle. All right. Jungle. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's, uh, this is great. This is great. Horsey. Can I ride you into glory? Onward, horse! Oh, wait. I don't even have a saddle. There's no point. Get booped. Boop. Okay, this is glorious. Let's get over there really quickly. Let's take my boat to get there a little bit faster. Oh, man. Hopefully, we get a little bit of panda action. I don't know if this is a bamboo uh, forest jungle kind of thing, but... Oh, either way, we can get some cocoa beans right now. Let's go. Cocoa beans? <gasps> cocoa beans! Th this, is, this is too good. This is just pure luck right now. Give me all those cocoa beans. Let me knock one of these guys down, too. Well, you know what? Since I'm here already, give me those vines. Thank you very much. Oh, this inventory. What are we getting rid of? Get, sorry, pork chop. Get out. 
Uh, Amber, I want Amber. Get out of here. I don't want you. Four vines. We really don't need that many. We could just grow them when we get back. But you know what? We got to get definitely some saplings here of this jungle. We can take this back with us as well. Jungle wood is going to look so good in the pirate island. These are the biggest pain to collect saplings too. Uh, inventory. What happened? Something came in here that I didn't want. Emerald, go. Now, if we see a parrot, you know I'm grabbing one. <gasps> Pink leaves. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, also, I need some watermelon as well. We got to take this back. We need to make that pumpkin and melon farm very, very soon. I didn't have any watermelon. Now we do. GG. We can make that really, really soon as well. Maybe the next episode. But with germs, better leaf add-on. Whenever we switch biomes for the birch, the, uh, the leaves change. I believe for jungle, it does turn pink. Uh, and then for everything else, it is literally just yellow. I believe some places actually have like an orange. I'm not sure which one, but that looks so cool. Look at that gradient. Oh, man. Rainbow tree. Now, if birds look like that for real, I wouldn't mind the dead zebra skin on the bottom. Oh, I see bamboo. That could be a bamboo forest. There could be some pandas over there. If I do see any parrots, though, I might take some home with us. That would be kind of cool. Oh, this is a bamboo jungle. Oh, yes. This is it. This is the home of the pandas. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks of my season two part of my Asian inspired village now. Oh, the memories. If you guys did see that single player season, let me know in the comment section. Do you remember our Asian inspired village? The panda habitat. Oh, so many good memories of that world, that area. Oh, so good. Pandas, please, just one. I just want to say hello. I'm glad I found these in a shipwreck. I didn't even need to find this, actually. But, you know, I'm going to take some with me anyways. How's my inventory right now? Uh, not the greatest. Not the worst, though. Pandas? This is Creeper Central, too. We got to be careful. I'm not looking to die today. Never, really. But not today, especially. Let's keep our eyes peeled for a jungle temple, too. That'll be a pretty cool find in this area. Oh, God, what was that noise? I don't know what that was. That was scary. Zero pandas in this area, though. Oh, come on. Let's take a little jungle cruise right here. I feel like I'm in Disney World. Not a single panda, though. This is a sad time. Oh, that is spooky over there. Oh, this is so peaceful. Oh, wow. This looks nice. Look at this air. Oh, I thought that was a panda. Stupid sheep. No parrots. No pandas. It's okay. We got cocoa beans. It's all that matters. Parrot! I need some seeds. Just one or two. A pirate's life isn't the same without a little parrot on their shoulders. Oh, man. Can I make this parrot my friend with one seed? I seriously doubt it. So let me collect a little bit more just in case. Uh, a parrot? Be my friend with one seed. This will break every record in the parrot breeding book. But I'm going to try it. I guess not. What? <laughs> I, you know what? It was just almost too good to believe. The second I gave him that seed, he was, I saw a heart. But I didn't put two and two together. I thought that, that was like, you know what? I love you a little bit, but not that much. He loves me. One. That's it. I can't believe this. People were probably screaming in the comments. They said, Saucy, he did. He did love you. He is your best friend now. Let him go on your shoulder. Thank you so much for everybody who's screaming in the comment section. I literally was not believing it. I was in shock. Let's sleep together. Uh, uh, does this work like a kitty cat? Uh, will you sleep on top of me, bird? <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, he's not sleeping on top of me. He's fine. Wait, he is on top of me. You were on top of my hand, weren't you? Lovely. All right, that's it. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Where's my boat? Come on, bird. <laughs> so cool. Now, you know what? I need a name for this bird in the comment section. Give it to me. Give me an awesome name. There he comes. So cute. Oh, little cockatiel bird. Get on my shoulder. Get on my shoulder, please. Get on my shoulder. Now I'm officially a pirate. Hello? <gasps> Jungle Temple. Jungle Temple. Hold on. That's awesome. I, we were almost all the way out of here. Hold on. Come on. Let's check this out, parrot. Oh, this is cool. Is this on a, is this on a beach side? Oh, okay. This has to be the coolest jungle temple placement I have seen. Right on a beach. This needs a transformation. There's a, oh no, dirty's back. Hi, dirty. <laughs> dirty right there. All right, let's check this out. We got to go in here real fast. Oh, this is not the way in. This is the back way. Let's just go in anyways from here. Hello? I have no torches for this. It's fine. Okay, you guys can't see anything. It's okay. No, I totally think. Creeper! No, no. Get out. Thank you for lighting the way, Creeper. That is, um, that was messed up. This look good again. Creeper? Creeper? No? It's a little spooky. I know you guys can't see nothing. Oh! Get, stop. 
I don't need I don't need any of that. I don't need any of this. Oh, parrot almost killed you. You guys can't see nothing. The parrot's making creeper sound noises, but I have no torches. I have no torches. I'm just gonna break and see what's in here real fast. Use your chest right there. Nothing of value that I need. I'm gonna get out of here. This was not worth it. This was not worth it. I, I could have died in here. And it's raining and it's scary. I'm leaving. Let's just go this way. We're fine. Where's my boat? <laughs> that was scary. Oh no! This creep is making creeper noises! Oh, the parrot is a good early warning system, but it's breaking my heart. Um, uh, I'm scared. Okay, we're leaving. This is great. I'm gonna remember the coordinates to this. Everything's fine. Dirty's up there warning us of danger. Let's go. It's raining. I think we're on the right track right here because this looks like the spot where I actually found the bees that we're gonna be building some stuff in later on in this episode. This is actually, I think the tree is one of those right around here. That's pretty cool. Ah, Isla de la Salchicha, welcome, my parrot friend. This is your brand new home right here. What do you think? Look at that. And this is just the beginning. I can't wait to show you what other stuff we got lined up here. My parrot compadre. Listen, we also got to plant some trees over there uh, in a little bit. But for right now, let's get home. It's been a long journey. Come on down, my friend. Here we go. This is Bubbles right here. This is Bob. Say hi, Bubbles. Say hi, Bob. Bob's saying hi. Bubbles like, I'm gonna eat that thing. Don't eat it, Bubbles. They're beautiful. All right, bird. Aboard your new ship. Right over here. Come on in. I'm gonna place you right here on this little spot. Right here. Oh, you can get right on the wheel. Oh, you wanna pilot the ship? Captain the ship? You don't pilot the ship. Technically, you do, but you don't at the same time. Enjoy. You're a new uh, first mate. Don't tell Bubbles. All right, now it's time. Let's do some building. Let's get some materials together and let's build our bees a brand new apiary. Apiary? Apiary, yes. Aviary is for birds. I was thinking that, but it's not. It's an apiary. Let's go. All right, let's get this apiary started right now. So I got some materials right here. This should be good enough for what we are looking for. So let's grab some stuff. Now, step one is going to be to put a row of stairs on the top level of this. But just in case you guys want to build this on your own, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right here from this block to this block of the seven. From here is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So seven by eleven uh, rectangle. And then right in the center of this area, we see a one, two, three, and four from here, and a four from here. We got a little five by five, little uh, extended box right here. This is gonna be our way in to uh, this uh, lovely apiary greenhouse. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab some stairs, I'm gonna do a mix of brick and a mix of granite, and just go ahead and line up the top with it. Now that we have those in place, I'm gonna grab just regular old spruce planks, and I'm gonna lay these down all the way around here. I'm gonna put right here an upside down spruce stair. So it's gonna look like that. And then I'm just gonna keep wrapping this around the top. Now, once I have that, I'm thinking I put some barrels on the edges. So one here on this edge, one here, one on every corner bit. And then maybe one here as well, one here. And I'm going to mirror those lines here. So it's a two, oh, I fell. So there's a two spacer and then a one, a three spacer, and then another one here. So two, three, two. Okay, this should be fine. Then I'm gonna grab some oak logs and go up one, two, three, I think maybe four might be a good number. Let's see. Oh, that hurt a little bit. I think this looks good. So they're all up by four. Now I'm just going to cross beam right at the top level, right at the number four and just go all the way down. Now from here, I'm thinking we work on a little bit of a roof on this one. So I'm thinking just stairs going up. I messed up. Oh, I caught it. Let's go. So stair like this, maybe a little upside down right here. Maybe a full block and a stair upside down. Let's go with a stair. Uh, upside down, one more stair. No, let's actually get rid of this one. I want to bell roof this out, so make it look a little steeper here. So maybe just slabs going up like that. This is the center point, perfect. And then let me repeat it. So a roof like this, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Then I'm just gonna repeat that one on the other side. There we go, that looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna do a little connection here. It's pretty much gonna continue on this direction. Eh, Calapeno, I hear you, my friend. Uh, and then this is gonna go pretty much like this. Maybe another upside down right there. Uh, this can be also full block. Let's go with a stair, stair like that. Let me repeat that over here. So coming around and then overhanging, upside down. Let's go with the uh, full block, uh, stair, upside down. And then this could be just slab. So slab, 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 and a slab right there that might be it that looks awesome now uh, this is what i like to do when it comes to greenhouse roofs i like having a little bit of a divider that goes from the glass to the roof because i don't like the, the glass to go straight up against these stairs it looks a little bit awkward to me i like to have these little dividers with wood um, so i think that would be the best way to do it now if i just do this for now 
this might be an easy way around it. Uh, and then you know what? I can leave it here like this and strip those and make a nice little look to it. So something like this might be the divider we need right there, right? Then let me just repeat it over here. Actually, I think I gotta go one higher because I wanna have the logs over the stairs. So like that, like that, there we go. Perfect, so it'll look like this, but then uh, we can detail these up a little bit by putting a slab on top of one. Let's do uh, trap doors instead of that one. Let's do a slab, trap door, trap door. I stripped that and I wasn't supposed to, it's fine. Um, <laughs> let's go trap door here. Uh, let's go with a slab, slab, and then maybe a little trap door at the bottom, trap door at the bottom. That looks good. I shall repeat, slab, trap door, trap door, slab, slab, trap door here trap door here that is awesome that's our little divider then i could come back in here and maybe just strip these just to make it look cool we could strip that one strip this one and i think just those i think just those because it'll look good from the inside i messed up on that last piece get rid of that boom okay something like that let's make a daytime Whee! Jalapeno! Oh, that looks just really good without the glass even in there yet. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That's a nice shape. Now, the next thing we got to do on this side is I want to give it a little bit of a lining up here and then add some glass in the middle. For the glass in the center, I'm not sure exactly yet how to put it, but I think we can make it look pretty cool. Uh, let's see. And this is what I got in mind. What do you guys think? Big bay window. We got a three wide of the full blocks and we got the panes on the corner edges. Then this little lip here on the top with the slabs and the stairs. That looks so good. I want to add maybe a little bit of a trim here maybe something like this and then we can maybe do something like so that might look pretty cool i might do it in a different material though because i like the idea but it blends in too much uh maybe we could do something with oak might look cool we'll come back to that but that's just an idea and then we can maybe hang some plants from there i also repeated it on the other side so it's looking just as good look at that perfect now for this part here really simple what i'm thinking about doing is doing a uh let's do uh right here on the corner full block oh no hold on there we go full block and then panes like that just to give a little bit of a different look to it. Then we can repeat it over here, just like that. That's looking awesome. Then we can go one more time here in the middle. We can go with the full, and then we can go with the panes. Oop, I messed up with that one on the side, and I think that's perfect. Give me that back. Thank you, Silk Touch. Yeah, that looks so good. Now, we gotta put glass in the middle. What I'm thinking about is also doing these little dividers and do it everywhere the beams are right here. Do the same style, going up and back down. And I think it'll be pretty cool to divide the glass in between. So let's do that really fast. Now, all these dividers are mirrored. The only thing we gotta do is strip these. So we can go down that line right there. Can I grab that? That's Please, I got it. Perfect. <laughs> Let's just strip these. And then from here, we can do the same slabs, slabs right here, trap doors in these little gaps right there, bringing down the slabs on that side, one over here, one there and there. And then the last remaining trap doors, one on that side, over here, and then one on this side, and then one parkouring over here. Now, we just bring it in some of the glass. So I'm thinking if we do glass here, it'll be one and two. Uh, we could go one up one at a time like this going all the way down right and then coming right back down one at a time going like so that looks really cool and then this will be a little bit bigger so it'll be going down one layer one here one on the back one in the top and it's a simple step pattern with the glass so i fell that would have been scary that's fine let me continue putting stuff up <laughs> scary Check this out. This is looking so good. I had a little bit of a trim down here with the trapdoors and slabs like we normally do, and I do like it. It looks a little bit more broken and ruined and like that a lot. Now, I also added a pop out here. I brought in some of the beautiful dark oak that we found just a little bit ago, and I also got a little bit of a chain drop down there. Eventually, once we get some honey production in here, I put some honey bottles or maybe a honey block or something on that sign. So it looks really, really cool. I do love it. Also, I got some interior. Let me show you. Uh, very simple for now, but we really only have... Um, one bee nest, so I'll take care of this right now. Uh, but as far as the little cross beams, right where we had that beam, just had some stairs, some trap doors like that, giving you that cool little archway feel. Got some grindstones going down with a chain into a lantern, so it's well lit on the inside. And then I gave a little bit of a lip of stairs, just upside down stairs wrapped around the top end. Over here is a little different because we have the little separation, so just a small archway there. And then some bushes, of course. I always gotta add the bushes inside any of the greenhouses we have. It just looks so good, adding that green 
greenery. Well, the greenery on the bottom and the greenery on the top, which looks cool. Right here on the back, we got some uh, flowers on this side, flowers on that side, so the bees can do all their pollinating, and that looks pretty cool. I was thinking about maybe putting the flowers in the center and then have bees on each side, but since we only have one uh, bee nest for right now, I'm just going to put it right in the center. Uh, so I also have a separate spot here, so I, I have space for three. So whenever we make some more um, honeycombs, right, we can use the honeycombs to make the bee hives, and then I'll put them next to them right here on the sides. But for right now, down here, we can just put a campfire so we can keep the bees all nice and relaxed. And this is the moment of truth. We're going to pop the bees down and let's see if they like their new home. One, two, and a three. Wait, should we put them down here like that or should we... Uh, hold on. I think it'll look a little bit better if we do a little bit of an elevation thing. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, here we go. Welcome home, bees. Bam! Hello? I know you're in there. Hello? Let me put my ear really close. Hello? Wait, I know there was three bees in here. Let's just wait it out a little bit. They, I hear them. Oh, I hear the buzzing. I hear the buzzing. They were sleeping. They've been dormant ever since I snatched them from their tree in that plains biome. Okay, we'll, we'll wait it out. While we're here, though, there's a little bit of bone mealing around here. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks better. Oh. Ten times. Oh, I don't like that one. I got some lovely flowers waiting for you. We could do a little bit of breeding in here. Oh, a seed. Come on, bees. Oh, man, you scared me the second I went in there. They popped out. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, I thought they were attacking me. They just want the flower. Okay. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, it's so nice to see you, my bee friend. Here you go. Make a baby with that one. Oh, there it comes. Oh, a baby bee. Oh, the baby bees were the cutest mobs in the game. Look at that cute little one right there. Oh, I don't, I'm going to need a beehive very soon because I only think, uh, what, three bees per uh, bee nest, beehive, whatever. Uh, one of them is going to sleep outside. That's fine. They have uh, a nice place to sleep anyways. That is so cool. Look at that. Now, I can go ahead and shear this, right? Uh, they are pacified. They won't kill me. Oh, they're going inside. Hold on. Let me get my shears. All right. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, uh, we're good. I can make a beehive. No, 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 no. I thought they were attacking me. We're fine. There we go. We can make it. Perfect. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, you know what? I'm going to place that right down next to it, even though it's not symmetrical. But for right now, that's fine. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, get rid of this one then. You can expand it to there. Not symmetrical. Don't go crazy in the comments. Boop. Very nice. And... There it is. We don't have the homeless bee anymore. What are you guys doing up there? Oh, you're so cute. Look at those little feet. Oh, your booty needs to go ahead and pollinate. Go inside and pollinate something. <laughs> there he goes. All right. You know what? Once we get the symmetry uh, all straightened away, uh, it'll pretty much be like this. Let's just do it now because of my sanity. It'll be like that. We'll put the other beehive or bee nest. Bee nest? Bee nest? Beehive. We'll put the beehive over here on this side. And then we'll plant that thing on the bottom. But for right now, this is good. Let's cover this up. It looks like a nice shelf, but that is it. That is all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I love this beehive apiary of goodness, man. We're going to have so much honey. Eventually, we can make a basement and then maybe automate it. We also do have, uh, maybe in the next episode, do a little bit of terraforming around here. Add some bushes, add some coarse dirt, uh, a path maybe to get up already to our fortress coming up. And we got a bunch of dark oak and jungle just growing back over there. I got to move that to the little tree island. But for right now, I'm out of here. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode. But for right now, I am going to get a pizza or something. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.